Okay, so let's design this thing on paper from the inside out. The first thing will be the crucible in the middle. Now this one here is going to be a, a 19 inch pot and it'll hold about 170 pounds of glass. So the dimensions from the uh, crucible manufacturer is uh, 12 and a quarter. by 19. And because it's going to be an invested pot furnace, I'll draw in the, the investment here, which will be a castable dense refractory. And after this, then there will be K23 brick on their side. So those K23 bricks are four and a half inches on their side. Okay, so that's basically the heating chamber and the insulation and support system around the heating chamber. Now I'm going to put six inches of fiberglass board on the outside of the furnace. So let's say, well there's our, there's our six inches of fiber board. And this here, this 19 inches plus two inches on each side for the width of the investment is 23 inches. plus four and a half on each side. That's adding an extra nine inches, which makes it 32 inches. Plus this 12 makes it 44 inches. So that will be the width of the furnace frame, 44 inches wide. Now I'll work on the area below the pot. Right below the pot, right in here, I'm going to put one inch of dense aluminum fiber board. Now that fiber board, it, it does shrink when it's heated, so I'll lose a little bit on the side. So there'll be a little bit of optical heat that'll be radiating off the bottom of the investment and down through into this course of insulation below. But the main reason for having it there is that all the weight of the furnace is sitting on the base. So I can't have any light, fluffy insulations underneath the pot. So that's a good way of, of starting to reduce the heat from the investment before it even gets down into the first course of bricks. So that first course of bricks will be four and a half inches. It'll be K23. Um, kiln bricks on their sides to get the uh, to get the extra height. Now, because this is the support system that holds up the upper chamber and the crown of the furnace, I'm going to kick this out a couple of inches so that I'm spreading the footprint that this weight has distributed on the base. And then I'm going to put one more inch of that dense alumina refractory and then one more layer of K23 bricks, but on the two and a half inch side. So they won't, they'll be on the flat, they won't be on end like they are up here and up here. And the bricks are nine inches wide, so I've worked this out here so that it, it's actually a multiple of nine inches, so there'll be a split. There'll be four bricks there, and there'll be four bricks here, nine inches each. So my main concern is that I have a support system under the furnace frame that supports the weight of the pot 
the contents of the pot and the upper chamber and the crown that goes above it. So underneath here, this brick here is centered on this brick here. So I'll put a brace in the center of this weight under the furnace frame and I'll put another brace here as well. And I'll use uh, angle iron and I'll weld it into the base of the frame. So these lines are one inch thick insulating boards, each one of these lines, and there'll be six of them. Now I'm going to put one inch of this insulating uh, fiberglass board on the bottom of the frame as well. Uh, there will be several hundred pounds weight distributed across this distance here on the fiber, but I think it won't compress too much. It won't distort the way that the door fits or anything like that. So that's the, basically the furnace frame. If this is 44 inches here, then I'm going to have to measure back to find the centers for these two supports. But I'm also going to put a center down the middle of the furnace frame because I want to have some kind of a support underneath the pot. So now I'll draw what that frame will look like. It'll be 44 inches by 44 inches. And at the center, and the center, there'll be a support right here to support the pot and the contents of the pot. But I also want some support rails underneath that area that I described up there, where the weight of the furnace sidewalls and crown come down at eight and a half inches. So. I'll say this is eight and a half, and, and this is 22. So I'll also have to put ones at eight and a half in here as well. So here's the, the 44 inch outside dimension here. Here's the center piece that supports the weight of the investment and the crucible. And eight and a half inches in, Here's the rail that supports the brick structure that forms the side wall of the heating chamber and the crown of the furnace. So that's basically what I just drew on that piece of paper. For the outside support system I used one and a half by two inch angle steel and I used three sixteenths in thickness and I've tucked in these wheels underneath the corners and welded them in place.